shot and camera proxemics. It is the relationship of the camera with the subject matter. For example, how much space the subject matter is taking in the frame or how far or closer the camera is to the subject matter. Is this relationship constant or is it changing within the shot? Let's look at these shots from the opening sequence of the film Charulata. In all these shots, the shot and camera proxemics are changing within the shot. A long shot with the camera movement and character movement is getting converted into a mid shot and ultimately a close up shot as well. In this way, instead of just observing the character from a distance, the camera becomes a part of the character's space. Let us quickly look at the few common types of shot magnifications. Extreme long or wide shot effectively used as an establishing shot. The subject appears like a mere speck in the frame and the camera is far away from the action. This shot is from the film The Shining. The car is just a speck in the frame. It gives the viewer a sense of the car moving towards something big or unknown. Long shot. It is effectively used to show the subject in relation to the location or space. There is a lot of space around the subject matter as it doesn't completely fill the frame. In the following frames, the filmmaker wants to introduce the characters along with the setting and space and create or establish a relationship between them. Full shot. In this shot, the subject fills the frame. It is visible from head to toe, but the space or environment is still visible. It is effectively used to show action more than emotion. In this frame, the filmmaker wants the viewer to focus on the characters and their action, but just about revealing the space so that the viewer is aware of where the action is taking place. Medium shot. The subject is framed waist up and fills the major chunk of the frame, or we can say it is quite dominant in the frame, therefore directing the viewer towards the subject. In the following frames, the focus is on the character and her activities. Right now, the focus is not on the internal emotions. For that, we need to use close-up or extreme close-up. Close-up. The focus is on the subject as it fills almost the entire frame. It is effectively used to show the character's emotions, expressions and reactions. In the following frames, the focus is on the character and her inner thoughts and emotions. Extreme close-up. The camera is unnaturally closer to the subject or character, mostly used to show intense emotions. In this frame, now not only the focus is on internal emotions of the character, but at the same time, its intensity is also focused upon.